Hi, friends. Welcome back to Alice Play World. Bringing you some more Overwatch gameplay today. We're defending in Hanamura. So, see what the friendly team picks. It looks like we already have a Farah and a Bastion picked out. That's a, Those are two pretty solid choices on top of a, a, a Tobi. Because I don't really know how to call him otherwise. And that's a lot of Bastionness. So, we definitely need a tank. Uh, I don't think in Hanamura, Reinhardt would be a good choice necessarily. So, I'm actually going to go for D.Va. I think she's really, really strong. Even though we already played her in the channel. But, again... Can't really go wrong. Maybe a support hero might be a good option as well. I don't know. Let's see what our friendly teammate picks. And of course, we can always sort of change our choice once we're in there. Of course, if you don't know our abilities with D.Va, our shift allows us to rocket uh, fly, as you just saw there. Our E ability is a defense matrix and sub bullets in front of us for a couple seconds. And of course, as long as we're inside our mech, we do a ton of damage to these little shotguns that don't need to be reloaded. Once our mech dies, we step out of it as a frail little person with only a pistol, but you can still kill people. I mean, just feel free to mix it in there. And then, of course, you have to fill up your heroic ultimate bar, which is that big gauge in the middle of the screen, in order to get back in your mech. If you're in your mech and you get your heroic ability, your ultimate is going to be you self-destruct the thing. So you eject. After a couple of seconds, your mech explodes, doing an absurd amount of damage. And killing pretty much everybody near it is uh, really, really good when combined with certain ultimates that freeze people in place. Like, Mei has a great ultimate that freeze everybody together you can just jump out there leave that thing behind and just kill the entire enemy team uh or you know in, in a panic button if you have an ultimate they're about to kill you you're gonna get popped on the mech just use it any way you might be able to kill the people who are trying to shoot you the friendly team uh a little bit too far back you want to make sure you're fighting for this street looks like the friendly team not really up to go there and that's a little bit of a problem because now we're allowing them a little bit of free reign here. What we're going to do is make sure we protect our little buddy here. We're going to take a lot of damage. We're going to be able to dish out quite a little bit as that guy's trying to heal himself. He does stun us. But we should be able to pick up the kill. We're a little bit tankier than he is. And now we're going to try to get out of here because Reinhardt is doing a lot of damage to us. We managed to get out of the way in the nick of time. And now we got to get a little bit of healing done. I don't know what that thing is in the upper corner. Oh, that's really neat. Uh, it actually shows you that you've taken damage. So let's go ahead and wait a couple of seconds to see if we can get another heal bit because we're so low that we're really not gonna be able to help out a whole bunch but we should be able to get a little bit of spotting there it looks the enemy team already flanking on the far right tracer is a good target for me to go chase because she's super annoying let's go ahead and see if we can chase behind her although she's trying to come up here and kill farah it looks like farah shot a rocket at her and i don't know if she did well or not but for the moment being, we seem to be okay i need a heal pot really really badly i am very very injured as it looks like we're going to try to jump in here on Roadhog. He's taking a lot of damage. He's also dealing in Reinhardt as well. Oh, in a good spot. I get taken down. My mech is dead. I'm trying to run out of the way. And now it's a matter of me actually getting out. I do pick up a little bit of healing. And Tracer's here chasing me, which is a guaranteed kill. There's no way I'm going to get away from that. Uh, I might be able to kill her one-on-one -on -one with McCree and Tracer. This is just brutal. As you can see there, he just got a shot there on my knee, I think. I don't know. He was missing quite severely. But we do get taken down. And uh, now it's a matter of actually reconsidering. Okay, so they're pushing us really thoroughly. Uh, and I need to be in the spawn room to change. So let's look at the, the team comps. What can we do to counteract both that Reinhardt and that uh, Roadhog? It looks like we need to kill something that does a lot of damage to heroes. We do have Farah. I am the only tank of the game, but I really don't think I'm actually doing too much work. So for now, I am going to switch targets to... Ooh, what are we going to do? This is bad. I need to like hurry up. I think uh, Reaper was going to be a good choice because I want to make sure I flank. We already have two Reapers, so it looks like this guy actually switched as well. So maybe uh, two will Reaper, I don't know if it would be, but Soldier 76, this is a good choice. Okay, Soldier 76, his shift allows us to sprint. It's going to be quite good. Uh, we shoot a little bit of uh, assault rifle damage here as we're going to try to basically kill McCree if he gets a little bit out of position. We should be able to shoot that, do quite a bit of damage. We do pick up the kill McCree if we can do anything else. Our E allows us to heal ourselves, which is going to be extremely important against the Tracer, who's going to be really, really annoying. But of course, she's you know, going to get shot out of here because she's not really good enough to kill me at the moment. That's quite all right. It's not really a judgment of her abilities. It's just that's the way it goes. We're going to be able to do a ton of damage on her, and I'm actually trying to predict her movements. She did waste the majority of her sprint charges, which is not good for her. And she's going to go here, but of course, Roadhog now is going to begin to chase me. And this is not a good job, so I'm just going to run away, sprint out, and use that. Our E ability heals us, and a right click is a grenade launcher type ability. This is really, really a neat character. I really, really like him. But he has the ability to do a ton of damage if you're able to get a good flank on the tanks. And that's the reason why you picked him. So now Reinhardt is going to try to be super annoying about standing there still. And we're going to try to get on the other side and do quite a bit of damage. Let's go ahead and throw that damage out. Tracer's jumping in, takes a lot of damage, gets taken down, and now we gotta be careful because, of course, the Reaper is still there. 
But the main thing that I want to do is get behind Reinhardt if I can, because he's on the big target that I want to make sure he's stuffed enough for my friendly team. I'm actually going to be super aggressive and get back here just to get behind him, pick up the kill on him, and just flank him. Really, really good job there as we're going to be able to take out the kill on both of those guys and keep the enemy team behind us. Six minutes to defend the point because they took the other one so early. So he's going to take a little bit of action here. So we're going to go super aggressive. It looks like he's being chased by a uh, wild hog. We'll just go ahead and throw out a little bit of damage there. And this is really imperative. I'm actually going to throw out the little bit of healing right here in the doorway. He can also benefit from it. Let's go ahead and do as much damage as we can back there to the hog. As you can see, there, the range is what's helping us out tremendously. We do get taken down by the Soldier 76. But our Reaper able to get the kill there and hold him back. So having range is helping us out a lot. Because the problem we had before with being D.Va is that we had to be really up close. And we still don't have a tank character. But at this point, we're just sort of relying on the fact that we have a lot of static defenses to push the enemy team back. Uh, we do have our heroic ability, which is super awesome if we can get it out. And what it does is as soon as we press it, anything that's within the field of vision, uh, we can just shoot. Uh, so instead of having to aim, as long as the enemy team is within your reticle, the enemy um, will get shot. Like the bullets will hit, so you don't even have to really aim it that well. We can actually do a little bit of range damage there. I'm trying to pull them closer together, but I'm not in a good spot. Let's go ahead and engage here on Reinhardt and just pick him up. He was waiting for that hill spot. A little bit rude. That's quite alright. Winston here is going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and drop that, get a little bit of healing, and just wait. Because he's going to try to come in here and be super rude, and we need to try to kill him. He's going to do so much damage if we don't. Let's go ahead and throw out that bracket, doing a lot of damage. Reaper is a really good answer to that. He's going to go super aggressive, and we're going to pick up the kill. Good teamwork from us. And now we're going to try to come in here. Roadhog kill getting a lot of damage. He's going to stun me, though. And the other one's going to shoot me in the face with a shotgun. And that's a little bit disappointing when we do get, 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 get killed there. Three deaths, four final blows, seven eliminations. So we're doing a little bit better with Soldier 76 than we were with D.Va, which is to be expected. Again, we're counter-picking. Uh, the enemy team hasn't really replied to our choice so far. And we got to make sure we're continuing to go there and putting that flanking pressure. If we, if me and Reaper stop going that way, we're going to run into a situation where the enemy team is going to begin to flank us. It's not going to be a good time. Let's go ahead and try to get in here and push them back. I uh, don't feel too comfortable about my current position as the enemy team is still flanking that way, but of course we don't want to go in blindly as the enemy Tracer is just sitting there, but of course Roadhog around the corner just shoots me in the face with a shotgun. Oh, that was devastating. I felt so comfortable, I was like, I'm just going to come in here and shoot her, but bam, point blank in the dome. I get taken down, and of course, four minutes remaining. The enemy team has plenty of time to make this happen. Uh, the biggest thing is to try to basically be as disruptive as possible. We gotta get behind that Reinhardt, and of course, behind the medic that he has back there as the monk is doing quite a bit of damage. Great shot from Widowmaker. That was amazing. Uh, I don't know if she was. It was a snapshot. It looked really impressive from my side. I guess no, it wasn't really that impressive. Us. I was moving quite slowly. I thought it was sprinting. I'm not a young to get sticking down we're getting hard denied here a moment being and we do need a little bit of counter sniping but one of the cool things that we have is if she's still out there is we can actually go in with our heroic ability and just uh, ruin her day uh let's I've go and press it now and if she comes out we're gonna be able to basically just kill her immediately we're gonna be able to pick up a kill real quickly here and then do that as well right there i don't think she even noticed that we were here but we should be able to pick up quite a bit of damage there oh and of course ran her from the side Picks us up, but we did disrupt him quite a bit. Uh, we were able to basically just pick up, I believe, two kills. Although, no, no, uh, Tracer did get away. But at the very least, we're fighting them outside, which means we're not fighting them inside. And that's pretty neat. Six deaths, though, seven final blows. That's not a great performance. We usually want to go positive, but for the moment being, of course, is the objective. That's the most important thing. Oh, no, that's a bad time. Let's go ahead and throw out a heal here. Uh, so we're going to try to get picked up. But Farah rockets a hallway. Not a great moment to be alive here. Let's go ahead and get out. Let's just go ahead and get out. Waiting seven seconds for a heal again. See if we can actually get some shots from here on the top lane behind Bastion. Uh, maybe even a, a little bit of a grenade. Oh my god! That's unbelievable that I actually picked that. I'm going to be able to heal up here and, of course, heal my friendly Bastion if he needs it. Reinhardt in the bottom floor as well as the enemy Symmetra is going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. We're going to try to basically boil some damage there, but we're not in a good spot. We're going to try to make it out and make sure we don't get hit by that sniper. Of course, Tracer blinking out of the way, which is a little bit scary. And I want to make sure I take up this healing before she does to make sure she's denied. The enemy Tracer gets shot in the face, I believe. Alright, that, that's a kill. No, okay. There we go. Let's go really aggressive here against this enemy teammate. Oh, it looks like she's going to be able to do a lot of damage again. I don't really want to go in there unless I have to because of the fact that she has rocket launchers. And that is a hallway. So we do pick up the kill there. I should be able to run in here and do a little bit of damage. Uh, I think that's a trap. Yes, it is. So we're going to go ahead and destroy that turret as Symmetra is trying to be annoying and leave turrets there to make sure that if we go in, we're going to get hit and that's not going to be pleasant. We're going to be able to steal this health, though. 
which is, I think is a good pickup because the enemy team is probably relying on it. And we should be able to get back in here into the fight momentarily. One minute, 40 seconds. We're doing a very good job. We're doing a good job, if I do say so myself, of defending. We gotta make sure we keep an eye on, on these guys. They're quite aggressive. Oh, of course, we do have this, which is neat. We'll go ahead and pick up a kill there. The enemy team, uh, he needs to get out of there, I think. There we go. We're just gonna go ahead and throw a rocket as he was trying to camp and wait for that to be done. But we do get the kill. A little disappointed to use our heroic ability, but you know what? It's fine. Although we need to kill these turrets again. We don't really want those doing free damage. Oh, uh, Reinhardt doing a ton of damage. We're going to be able to jump in from behind. You guys got to pick a poison between myself and my friendly teammate. We're going to be able to do a ton of damage. And wait for him to get out the other way. Let's go ahead and throw that out and just blow him up. we got to be careful with that shift. He can actually pin us really easily. And now we're not in a good spot. Let's go ahead and wait for this. It looks like the friendly Symmetra trying to damage Symmetra trying to be really aggressive. We almost get pinned. Get out of the way at the last second. Do a ton of damage, but she's just going to mow us down with like 10% health. She does manage to make it all the way through. And the enemy team flanking now. We have 50 seconds remaining on the objective. How are we doing now? 7 deaths, 10 final blows, 14 eliminations. Order. Not too bad, but still not great. Let's get back up here in the top and try to push them back. It looks like Reinhardt being really aggressive, but we're going to be able to shoot him. And he's going to get taken down. We don't get to kill him, but we do get a kill. Now, of course, we've got to be really careful about that engagement from Symmetra. Farah and myself doing really good here. We're going to try to go into that little room where she's been deployed. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit of healing. She's going to be super aggressive. And she, I believe she's trying to lure us into a full sense of confidence. Let's go ahead and hit her and do as much damage as we can. She's very low. We're just going to go in here and pick up the kill. And now we got to kill the turret before he kills us. So there we go. Good job. Managed to actually pick up the kill there. Swipe him back. Go back just in time to make sure we do a little bit of damage to Reinhardt. But, of course, Reaper, a little bit of a scarier threat. Can we pick up the kill? Yes, we can. And now we got to get in here to deny him. He's going to try to charge, but it looks like... Little Tommy does not care. He just kills him. And that is going to be good game victory for the friendly team. Let's see who got the play of the game. I assume it must have been... I don't know. I'm going to say it's going to be uh, Bastion. Oh, it was me. King of Cats. Who would have thought? Told Soldier 76. We did terrible, but at least we managed to get a play of the game. I think it was just, what, a simple double kill? That was all we did? Oh, no. It's because we did finally end up killing... The widow and of course trying to do as much damage oh no we did pick up the gun tracer so it would have been really effective if we had killed that pharaoh anyway my name is al stay tuned for more overwatch content i will see you all next time